Hola, como estas? I'm practicing my Spanish. Oh my gosh, Duolingo is on Cyber Monday. I gotta buy that today. Today, I'm late to uh, this whole thing, but this palette is still new and I still want to try it on camera for you guys. This is the Morphe James Charles palette that I just got in the mail like two weeks ago. I'm a little late. Uh, looks like this. Um, initially, well still, I would say that I, I don't really know why this color is in here. It doesn't do anything for me. I guess James likes it, but overall these are really pretty. Um, like you can create a rainbow with this, which is really cool. I also really do love the bigger pans. I'm really glad that he decided to do these warmer uh, tones in the larger pans as well as the black because I use those a lot. This shade is like speaking my language right here. Oh, 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 so pretty. I don't know what I'm doing. We're just gonna start painting and um, kind of cool because you can sit this on your table like this and it looks like a little palette at the max store. You know, when you see those all out and you're like, I wish that was in my house. Now you have it in your house if you get this. I uh, I have a Morphe discount code if you ever wanna use it in the store or on the website. If you wanna use that, it's there for you. You get 10% off. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. I'm gonna prep my um, eyelid. I haven't filmed for so long, this feels weird. I'm like, what do I do next? What do I do with my hands? I'm supposed to put this in water and I'm just gonna use my drinking water cause I'm too lazy to get up. Let's see if I can remember not to drink that again. Alrighty, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do here. I don't even know what to do with all of this. There's so many possibilities. It's so good. All right, I would just first off wanna just, I just wanna check out this black with this purple over top of it. What does that do? Oh yeah, oh that's, that's orgasmic. I'm gonna start with a little Jouer, Jouer concealer on my very veiny eyelids. Dab, dab, dab it into place. How is y'all's holiday shopping going? I, if you do that, I don't know, some people don't do. They do presents with a C-E, not presents with a T-S. I've just been busy planning my 30th birthday that is coming up on December 8th. It's not my actual birthday date, so my actual birthday date is 12-12, but I'm celebrating my birthday on the 8th because my cousin's wedding stuff is on that other weekend that is my actual birthday. All right, I think I'm gonna powder my lids just a tiny bit. I'm gonna use Amazing Cosmetics, a little setting powder like this. I don't, I still don't know what I'm doing, guys. All right, I'm gonna lay this down first. Oh, I love how this just sits up like this on the table. Okay, I'm gonna use this pretty much all the way up to the brow bone. You probably can't see it on camera. It's giving me like a very slight hue. I just want it to transition really well. I bet some people this isn't even gonna show up on though if you're any paler than I already am. There's not a whole lot of fallout, which is nice. Or like kickback, I guess I should say, in the palette. Oh, my pinky, I'm like <clears throat> So how's holiday shopping going? I tried to like get so many Black Friday. <gasps> sales and stuff done, or like, like ha I tried to have them all, but I was like visiting with family and they kept talking to me, which was even better. I should have been hanging out with family anyway, but um, I was trying to like focus on that and I just couldn't focus on it because um, everyone wanted to talk to me because I'm so cool. No, just kidding. Next, I'm gonna go in with this guy right here. I'm gonna use this as like, I might even mix those two together. Yeah, I'm gonna probably mix these two together. No, I'm not, no. I'm just gonna go in with this guy right here. And this is gonna be my transition shade, like my crease shade right now. There is a bit more kickback with this one. You can see it right here. Razia, you see that? Tinkle, tinkle. Um, whoa. <laughs> That pigment is nice. I don't mind kickback as long as it's not like so severe that you're gonna very soon hit the pan. You know what I mean? Kickback is also the reason I do my foundation after. My skin is slightly distracting to me, um, but I've learned to kind of ignore it for the most part and just do it after so that I can pack the color on without like thinking twice about it and being like worried about it. In case you've never been to my channel and you're curious why I don't have foundation on first. Does anyone else do this? So for this eye, I blend in to the eye like this. And on this one, I blend out. And so sometimes they're uneven. I try and train myself, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't ever get any better. Maybe if I just placed and then blend it out. Someone is vacuuming in the other room. So if you can hear that, that's what it is. I'm gonna take a smaller brush. This is a Luxie 235 blending brush. Going in with the same shade, I'm just gonna deepen the crease even more and then work on blending it out. And you know what I'm gonna do actually too? I'm gonna take this one to put in the crease as well. 
That's a really dark one. Oh, yes, she is. I'm just gonna add this here to deepen it up. Oh yeah, mama like, mama like. For the black on the lids, I'm gonna start this by just making sure that close to my lash line is like as dark as I'm gonna want it to be. And then I'm gonna blend this out. And don't worry, I realize that this looks like a hot mess right now. It's like a painting, it comes together. Paint by number, you know, you don't know what the F it is halfway through. Oh my God, who did paint my numbers? Just brought myself way back. Okay, so taking this little brush, this is a NYX brush, by the way, this is a 29, and I'm just gonna kinda smudge this around. I think I've had this pencil that I just used on my eyes since the NYX Face Awards when I was in that, like three years ago. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm gonna add a little bit more to cover this area. Oh, by the way, this is a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean, what I just used on the eyelid. Next, I'm going in just with the giant black from the palette. And I'm just going to going to uh, lay this right on top. Wow, that's some pigmented black. I love it. Now going back with that little skinny brush, I'm taking some black on there and I'm gonna work this into the crease. Now moving on to the purple, I'm gonna take this guy right here on my finger and I'm going to just place it right in the middle. So freaking pretty. Love that shade. That is so freaking pretty. I kind of want to just rub it all over my entire eyelid. <laughs> Taking that light pink from the palette again, I'm just kind of doing, I really need to um, shave or wax this up here or whatever. It's kind of like not blending out the way I want it to, but it's literally because I have so much like blonde hair up there that I haven't taken care of. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of naked skin. Um, concealer to cover some of the redness going on on my face before I go in with the base. Oh, that rhymed. As you can see, that just neutralized my face a little bit or neutralized the red on my face a little bit, I should say. I was gonna use my CoverGirl foundation, but I can't find it. Um, I just got back from a trip and I don't know where it is. So I'm gonna be using one of my other faves. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I honestly suck at shade matching. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I forgot to put on a primer. I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Self Adjusting Complexion Primer. That's, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> <sighs> so if you guys need some help with any sort of Christmas shopping, I did put together a gift guide and I will link it in the description box below for you. That is a good little place to start. It might like give you some ideas of things you could possibly get even if you don't like anything on my actual little list. You can always grab Arctic Fox hair color, of course, and I'm gonna give you a little secret right now. Nobody knows this, cause it's not even going out an email blast, but on my birthday, December 12th, we're actually, I'm actually doing like a, um, a flash sale for my birthday on Arctic Fox. So it's gonna be um, a really good percentage off. Oh, now I remember why I love this foundation so much. The coverage is so good, but it doesn't look cakey. I love it. Mark your calendars for that. That's gonna be a good one that you don't wanna miss. And like I said, the only place I'm announcing it is my Instagram story and um, maybe Arctic Fox Instagram story, but that is literally it. Gonna be using a little uh, more of the Urban Decay corrector in, um, what's the proper name? This is pink. And this is gonna combat any like kind of darker purpley Tones, purpley blue. Going back in with the Jouer Concealer. The shade, by the way, is in uh, Wheat. Very creative. I also have a Jouer discount code. If you're interested, it's just Kristen. That's it, you just have to remember my first name for pretty much every discount code ever. I'm like loving the way that this looks right now. I feel like I need to go put an outfit on that matches because this don't match. That concealer is pretty freaking bomb. Bomb.com fan. Everyone always asks me where I got this. Um, this is a really good little stocking gift that I, uh, I'm filming my gift guide that I told you I was linking in the description box after this. Um, and I think I'll talk about this because everyone asks me where I get this fan and it's so freaking handy for drying your lashes, everything. But this is Opolar, Opolar, O-P-O-L-A-R. 
and it was given to me by Urban Decay on one of the trips and it's been so handy. I'm so glad I kept it. One thing I love about the Wet n Wild foundation is you don't really need to set it. I just set it in areas that I know that I get a little greasy or creasy, um, which is here, here. And that's pretty good. What eyeliner is going to be the right color? I'm gonna go in heavy with the color pop. Never mind eyeliner. It's like this really pretty, like purpley night mothy shade. Can you see? Can you see still? Okay, so I'm gonna work this into my lash line as well as my water line, easing up on the amount of product that I'm using as I get towards the inner corner. I'm gonna continue this up here and up here. I'm gonna tight line with it. Start wearing purple, wearing purple. La, 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 la. Taking a Sigma pencil E30 brush. I also have a Sigma discount code. I can't remember what it is. I'll try and put it in the description box if I remember. Um, I'm gonna take a, a this one. First I'm gonna take this one over directly over where we did the dark liner and then I'm gonna take this this one and do it right underneath. Oh, I'm gonna do this because everyone hates this. <sighs> Actually only haters hate that, but yeah. And use this as a chance to work in even more color into your lash line if you're seeing any like flesh colored spots that you missed. Now going in with that lighter purple. I'm gonna take this, it's likely makeup brush with Furless. This is the I don't even think it matters because I don't think you can get this set anymore, but it's a Pro 3M. And this is a brand new palette. This is a highlighting palette from the ColourPop Holiday Collection. If you watch my Instagram stories, then thank you for that. And also this is from their new holiday collection. This is Dream Sequence and I'm gonna use Pinch Me right here. I don't know if you can tell, I can't really see it on my monitor, but this has a really beautiful like pinkish purple um, duochrome to it, like a little shift. This looks like it's in their same formula that the little little uh, singular eyeshadow ones are because it feels like cushy and squishy. It's really cool. I'm gonna put some of that in the inner corner here just to give it a little bit of dimension and pop. Oh my gosh, that plays so well with the purple in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Going to use this on my brow bone as well. Oh my gosh, queen of color is back. She back, self-proclaimed queen of color in my own little Kristen Leanne world of awesomeness and color. <laughs> oh my gosh, I almost drank that water again. Uh. I put on some eyebrows and some lashes and these lashes are from Feline Lashes in Ragdoll. I think I have a code for them too actually. I think it's just Kristen as well. Um, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer to contour my face. This brush, um, by the way, is the Urban Decay Large Powder Brush. I freaking love this for all things contour, blush, highlight. I just use the same one and just wipe it off in between with like a dirty rag that I always inevitably have on my lap. I'm gonna build this up a little bit closer to the hairline to deepen it up. I'm so good with this side of my face and then this side of my face, I'm like, Ugh. like, I don't know what my deal is. Like I'm so much better with my hand on the other side. I'm not doing this to make my forehead look smaller, but I am wanting to bring in a bit of the bronze in the forehead, which is why I'm adding a bit here. Oh my gosh, come on, come on. Now for the Snage, this is a Pro 4E. It's likely makeup in furless brush using the same. Same stuff. Going to contour my nozzle. Now, for highlight, what are we doing? I don't know. I like to do my highlight first, if you're new here, because typically when you put blush on and you go in with highlight, it's just like poof, and it's just like a line where the highlight ends over your blush. I don't like that. I don't like it, okay? So I like to put my highlight on first. I just, I want to use all these, so I, I kind of am. Yeah, we're going to use all of them. It's cool. Um, just put that on there. Oh wow, that's glittery. Did not expect that. Oh, whoa. Oh, glitterier than I typically go, but I love some glitter. So I'm not gonna shy away from it. Just when you thought I was done putting a highlight on, I dip back in. Always keep you guessing. Some of this is a little chunky for my taste, to be quite honest. Like a little, little chunk chunk. It's really pretty though. I would make it slightly less chunky though. I'm kind of just like literally like, Colourpop, can you just mix these all together? A little less chunk and then 
that'll be perfect. One reason I like a little less chunk is because, I don't know if you can see, but there's a couple flecks of glitter that stuck to the middle of my forehead and that's not where I was trying to place it. It kind of just moved when I did this and glitter sticks. It's like the herpes of the craft world. So that's why I kind of like a little less, little little less glitter in, um, in that, but it looks amazing in here. Like I'm not mad about it, but. Less, less glitter, did I say that enough times? For blush, I'm gonna be using this Marc Jacobs uh, Flesh and Fantasy. That sounds like a porn <laughs> um, blush right here. For a lip today, this is also from the ColourPop Holiday Collection. Um, it's got holographic here. It's okay. This isn't about the the freaking. I just I just like the that the packaging. Okay. Um, this is shade Dream Date, um, and it's just just really nice kind of nude shade. Uh, it's like kind of in between warm and cool, which I like. Um, for this look, keep it somewhat neutral so the attention is on the eyes. <sighs> now to find the right lip liner color. Oh, oh my gosh, so much dust just came off these. <laughs> that looks pretty close. All right, so this is the NYX uh, Suede Matte Lip Liner in Dainty Days. That's not dark enough. I want it to be a little bit darker, just kidding. I'm gonna go in with Rose the Day. Oh, okay, need to sharpen that. It's very professional over here. Sorry for wasting your time. If you made it this far, you're like the OG, like you're not going anywhere. I can, I can count on you. Kind of feeling like Jenna Jameson right now and I'm not mad about it. Okay. So this is, now it doesn't say what finish this is. It probably says on the box. I literally have no idea, but it looks like it's a matte or a satin. Definitely not a matte or like a satin. It smells like freaking cookies. Friends, family, and foe. Uh, that brings us to the end of this video. Oh my gosh, I'm rhyming like crazy today. <laughs> I don't know what the heck is going on. Anyways, um, final thoughts. I, it's hard to give final thoughts about this whole palette because I only use like four shades out of it. But the four that I did use, a-okay. Love it. Um, I always love Morphe's formula. I think it's it's affordable, it's it, it's workable, it's good quality for the money. Um, and with everyone's discounts floating around with it, you get even more of a discount. So I just, you get a lot of color in one palette. So, and I think that he chose the right shades to be the larger ones. The only shade that I don't love in this palette so far without even using it is that like pale yellow. I don't, I don't see a point for that for me, but I didn't create the palette. It doesn't have my name on it. So other than that, I think he did a really great job so far. We'll have to wait and see more looks with it before I can give my like final opinion. But so far, like with what I worked with today, I would definitely spend my own money on it. Um, it was sent to me in a PR package, but I would definitely have bought it myself with all of those rainbow colors in there had I had the chance and had I needed to. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Are you digging the colorful dark looks for winter? Let me know what you guys want to see in an upcoming video. I um, am getting ready to pre-film some stuff and get back on track. I literally feel like I always say that. December, like October through the rest of the year for YouTubers and bloggers is like the busiest time of the year um, between sponsorships, just getting content out for you guys and helping you guys with your shopping, etc. Like it is, it's, it's a full-time job and I also have another full-time job at my business, Arctic Fox. So <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying, but thank you so much for you. Uh, those of you that are here watching, I appreciate the support and all it really takes is a comment, a view and a thumbs up. Like and I really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. If you wanna check out my holiday gift guide, it will be linked in the description box below. Check that out. Hopefully it'll give you some inspiration and maybe give you some ideas for the makeup lover um, in your life. Uh, it is mostly like makeup based, if I'm remembering correctly, I think so. Um, I also have a holiday wish list that includes like literally everything. It's got throw blankets, shoes, jewelry, candles, cool kitchen stuff, and that is linked on my blog. I will also link that right below the holiday gift guide video in case you wanna check that out too. Thank you guys, and we will see you in the next video. Happy holidays. <sighs> Work with me background, I'm trying to have it festive and shit in here. Damn it, Gina. My mantelpiece is crooked. Hopefully this don't snap off in the middle of my filming. That better.